Gosh, Daniel, what's he gonna do with that? You're fixing a wound with, what is that? Like some barrel wrap tape? Just shut up and watch the show and you'll see. I gotta watch that one again. What's up guys? Today we wanted to do something a little different. Kurt and I are gonna react to different knife videos off of YouTube. This is Daniel's idea and I'm pretty stoked. What he's done is he created a playlist of YouTube videos that are knife related and we're gonna react to them. We don't know what these videos are either. So grab your favorite beverage. So let's go. Two guys. Two shirts, different colors. It's a new day. But that's not what this is about. This They're in the kitchen. Oh, ad. And we have an ad. YouTube, come on. Oh, I need a website. Go to Fiverr. Skip. Oh, I hate cutting onions. It's pretty cringeworthy. Come on, man. Just slap chop that. <laughs> I can't chop an onion to save my life. So I got one of those little choppers, so I cut an onion in quarters and go These guys do not sound confident at all. 10 minutes later. Dude, at this point I'd be like <laughs> I'd be crying like a little girl. Take the paper out of the pan, you silly. This Audi. This Audi? A little gizzy. Look what you did. The onion gizzy. How many of you folks out there? I've been cutting an onion and you think, and you see Gordon Ramsay do it, or you see one of these other chefs do it, and you're like, oh, I can do that. And you get your knuckles down there and you start slicing. I get too paranoid and I try to go fast. And then my wife tells me, hey, we can't afford that doctor visit, so don't do it. He is just <laughs> slamming that knife through that. So that's Rhett and Link. Yeah. I've seen some of their stuff. Those guys are hilarious, man. So they do, and they do just the randomest stuff on the pl most random, randomest. Randomus. That sounds like a Greek name for some Greek ruler. My name is Randomus Atticus Correctus. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two of me attempting the Forged in Fire challenge, and this is round two. All right, folks, next we're gonna watch this Forged in Fire challenge, round two. I loved Forged in Fire. Daniel got me hooked on it. I've played around with it, but I've, I've only been in a forge a few times. Um, I'm just getting into forging myself, and you know what, I won't lie. Y you read all the stuff what, you know, tempering does, what, quenching does and heat treat and all this other stuff. Guess what? I want to know for myself because I like to do things myself. So I'm going to make a knife. Maybe I'll show you guys. Let's get to this video. I've got eight minutes left. Oh, he's timing himself like the forge and fire. Okay. If he pushes too hard, he's going to blow out that belt. I love this dude's uh, headgear. Okay. Looks good. That's a good looking knife. But will it kill? Add. Skip add. Three hours and 38 minutes and he makes a knife like that. That's beautiful. Get to chopping. The American flag should be a little bit bigger. Ooh, that's satisfying. He's doing a lot more chopping than uh, they do on the movie, on the show. Oh, that blade. Oh my gosh. Be safe. All right. Wow. Just powers through and just breaks it. Look at that thing just glance off there. Wow. I grew up, my dad had a cabinet shop and I've carved on blank pieces of wood. I picked up trees. I grew up in the mountain. You know, I did all sorts of stuff. To have him beating the crap out of that knife, cutting that two by, it looked like a two by six, might've been a two by four, but, and then he does it with the harpoon side, the sharpened harpoon side, kind of blew my mind. And then he's over here slicing paper with it. That's pretty good for three hours and 38 minutes. Let's move on to something else. You gotta keep watching. Oh, let's not move on. Let's keep watching, Daniel says. Eight inch copper sheet. Dang, dude. Oh, Moses. Broken blade. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> dang, when he started hitting that copper, I was like, oh, dang, he's going after it. I wonder, okay, if you look, it's almost like you can see where the initial crack was. Right there at the bottom where the edge is. It's almost like you can see where the crack was. That's interesting. Now he's gonna 
fixed blade mini cleaver. That was totally cool. If you love Fortune Fire, I love it. Um, yeah, that is totally gnarly, man. Seeing him break that knife, and it's funny because as soon as it broke and he set it down, I'm like, oh, you can see where the crack was. You can see where the... I, if you see me look off screen, I'm looking at Daniel because he's standing there. Daniel has a forge in his garage. If you watched our video of that, you kind of see how he kind of doctors up one of the blades that we sell uh, that comes pre-cut and everything. He actually just went ahead and made it better. Um, all right. So now a tip test for a Vuecha spew point. A drop point, I'm not sure. I'm still not sure. Cold Steel Voyager XL drop point clip point clip point knife destruction tip test. He's not sure if it's a clip point or a drop point. Um, not laughing at the guy. Uh, trust me. I don't know everything about knives. I know a lot, but I don't know everything. He has a gas mask on. That's when you know things are serious. That's a drop point. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, take your hand off the log. You're going to stab that. <laughs> Did it break first try? Yeah, it bent. That's funny. I mean, I know he's just testing the knife. But, you know, how to split a log, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, well, the tip's bent. Well, I mean, you just bent it. So, I mean, what's the, <laughs> what's the, I'm kind of surprised he's, well, surprised. Oh my gosh, dude, you've got the longest knife in existence. And all that leverage on that tip into a wet log. Yeah, man, it's obviously gonna break. Wow, I got the outcome I was looking for and probably suspected. Listen to this guy breathe with that mask on. Well, now you're getting down into the thicker metal there and you don't have a tip to dig into the log with. <laughs> what is he expecting? Well, the steel's gonna find its weakest point, which is, which is probably the, pot, the thumb stud is where the weakest point in the steel and the blade is, unless the blade had a crack, but I'm pretty sure it's from that thumb stud. Not only that, but that's where all the leverage is on the knife is he's pulling, so that's gonna find the path of least resistance to break. Oh my gosh, it's terrifying. I think you voided your warranty, buddy. Go take that mask off so you can actually get some oxygen to your brain. And I cut my you cut your hand? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's called knife karma. Such a deep cut. I think you got it there, bud. <laughs> oh, please cut your other finger. What were you planning on? What were you planning on doing with that knife? That banging it into a log with a brick breaks the steel. What, I'm kind of curious to what his use for that knife was going to be. And now I'm, I'd like to talk to him and find out. Not making fun. I'm just. <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, you pound any knife in there, it's probably going to break putting that much force on it, if that's what your intent is. All right, folks, the next one, we're going to watch how to break glass with a knife. I have broke glass with glass breakers. Hi, I'm Austin. Ooh, nice kilt. Not making fun. That dude looks like Samwise Gamgee. In a kilt. Not making fun. You threw a knife through the window and you expect it not to hit the guy on the other side. <laughs> oh. I want to see him break a car window. So let's talk about that for three seconds. Car window versus house, like your window in your house versus even office building and tempered glass. Um, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna, this isn't a glass show or nothing, but in my experience, so car windows are tempered and generally have a protective film over them sometimes. Sometimes it's even just tint. So the glass breaker is designed to create that one hard point of contact that will shatter a window. All right, next up, 
We're gonna watch Man Cuts Watermelon with Sword. This ought to be fun. Kurt and I went and cut them with big knives. Big friendly knives. One of my first videos I did with Blade HQ. Oh no, I think I've seen this one before. Oh, are you kidding? Dude, he's gonna cut his hand. He's gonna cut his hand. Oh, there it is. Jinxed him. Oh! Yeah, hospital. What the heck? That was a lot of blood. Dude, Daniel, that's messed up. <clears throat> My mama used to have a phrase, told you so. <laughs> I gotta watch that one again. Martin. Hey. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. This is Dutch Bishop Nice, and today, I have the more robust. I'm not gonna make a usual video this time. I'm gonna do a destruction test. Whoa. Interesting test. The Dutch bushcraft boys. These guys are so funny. Dang, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would love to do a video with these guys. He's about to baton that brick. Oh my gosh. That first break was so clean. Holy crap. Dude, he is just destroying this brick. You scare me. <laughs> Why does that guy always do the craziest faces? I need to do that more. Okay, now some knife fill TikToks. For some reason, I keep wanting to call it Tok Tok. I don't have one. I know what it is. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm gonna get the boomer comments and stuff. I get it. My kids are all adults and they're like, Dad, TikTok's the funniest thing on the planet. Watch that again. Oh, I love that it goes straight into the instant replay. <laughs> Probably about five years ago, I had this cheap gas station fixed plate. I was up camp and I'm like, I wonder if I can stick it in that tree. Boom! It did kind of the same thing. It hits, it goes boof, but it blew off the handles and broke the blade. <clears throat> Sadly, there was no video of it. Wow. Oh, connections interrupted. Daniel. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 it worked. What knife is that? Why does. <laughs> in super. In macro slow-mo video i want to know what kind of knife that is real talk that just looks like an old kitchen knife that my dad had from the 70s <laughs> dude that was super awesome thank you daniel dude guys if you guys like this video let us know down in the comments below also if we want to make this a video series that we just do here at blade hq with me in dallas uh, let us know and send us the links to the videos that you guys want us to react to. Uh, I, this, this was fun. I hope you guys send in some great links and we'll catch you guys on the next one.